he's a nice guy. <laughs> uh, he's in a band, so he's passionate about music. Um, but he's also very passionate about education, and that's what he's going to talk to you about tonight. You're on. Thank you. you. Her own lyrics, 
So we can say that sometimes the intelligences are mixed, sometimes no, always, of course, the intelligences are mixed in, in, in the person, isn't it? We have an example here with Alison. <laughs> More, do you know what this person is? Kind of a group of Picasso. Picasso. Yes, it's another, he was very intelligent in the area of arts, or we can say visual, spatial, or relationships as well. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> your needs always. Different type of intelligence. Your own. <laughs> Another one. Do you know this this woman? I do now. <laughs> do you know the, uh, the the act in theater cats? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the Phantom of Opera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She created this this theater act, you know, and he's Gillian Lin. He's Gillian Lin, a very very good dancer, choreographer. So she was very intelligent. In he wasn't. I don't know if she's perhaps he's 90 years old. I don't know. I'm sorry for the. But I, I don't know if she's alive. Her, <laughs> so this is from the 70s. So I don't know. So she was very trained in which area? In bodily kinesthetics. You would say bodily kinesthetics you know, as as a sport woman, a sport man. Of course, we could, we could say here, as I told, said before, a marathon man, it's an, a marathon woman, a person who run a marathon has to be very intelligent running, has to be very intelligent in bodily kinesthetic in the bodily kinesthetic area, isn't it? Yeah, a marathon man, marathon woman is very intelligent, of course. Why not? Messi, Messi, uh, Usain Bolt, <laughs> of course. And and as Alison said before, we, we said Alison has got very good skills in in linguistics and in in uh, musically, of course. But I told you said before, no, a marathon man has to have uh, has to control their limits, you know. Mm -hmm. has that's another, another uh, intelligence, and this is the intelligence, this is the interpersonal intelligence, inter, I'm sorry, no, the marathon man is intrapersonal intelligence, <laughs> intrapersonal, a person who uh, knows uh, his or her limits, you know, knows her strengths, knows her good points, strong points, and knows her uh, her limits and or her weak her weak points, isn't it? When you run a marathon, you have to to know that, isn't it? We have here Dalai Lama. This a, that's another intelligent intelligence intrapersonal. Okay. Do you know this woman? <laughs> Dori. <laughs> By the way, Dori here is. Was my teacher, my English, my English teacher in my, in my school when I was a student. Maria Montessori. Do you know uh, Maria Montessori? Do you know the methodology? Yeah. Montessori methodology. Yeah. Okay. This uh, we, we could say that Gardner says that uh, she she was very intelligent in the interpersonal area, wasn't it? Just uh, living with with uh, people, living with child, living with teenagers, living with the people. You know, and a teacher has to have uh, a lot of skills here, you know, in the in interpersonal area. Okay, and the last one. Do you know this 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 guy? Amigo, amigo Feliz. Feliz Rodríguez de la Fuente. Yes. Mi amigo Feliz. You know, we could say that. Uh, he's very intelligent in the area of nature, naturalistic area, isn't it? So, now we could answer the first question in a different way, isn't it? Okay? In the end, uh, I will ask you the question again. So, uh, so, I will try to use my spatial visual intelligence here in the whiteboard. Thank you, Darren, for the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> a brand new whiteboard for the 
for the, for for the, the occasion. Maybe it's an object for us. So, uh, I will try to use my special visual italias in order to explain to you my reflections, my conclusions, my questions uh, that have uh, that have that have come to my head in, in these few years, okay? Uh, as a teacher, I, of course, I, I look. I am not here to to tell you what is wrong, what is right. Of course not. Uh, as a teacher, I only want to share with you my reflections, and I will try to do it in in four main ideas. Okay, I will try to summarize in four main ideas. It, it was. It, it will be very difficult for me because my father used to tell me that I, you know, my father and, and another girl over there too, that when I talk, I talk very slowly, and from one side to the other, and, okay, I will be straight and I will try to be complete, so let's go, come on, okay, I will try to explain those four main ideas. Imagine this is a window pane, yeah, okay, where we have, yeah, and I will explain my vision of the education using this window pane, okay? This is my vision of education, okay? So, the first idea we are going to, to continue with Howard Garner. Howard says, we will have eight intelligences, eight computers, not only one, not only one intelligence, one, one computer, isn't it? So, knowing this, the system the, of education nowadays is the most unfair system of education we have. Amen. Why? Why? Because uh, we all know this, you, 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 are, you have been a student, if you are a father or a mother, you know how it works, you know, in the traditional schools. Uh, all the subjects that, that, are, that are not maths, that are not language, are in one side, isn't it? Music, physical education and others. So, we could say that, knowing this, taking into account this, we could say that we are not, our brain, it's not only IQ, of course not. We have eight intelligences, okay? This is our brain, okay? So this is the idea, okay? This is the change in our mind. Second idea, Sir Ken Robinson, okay? Ken Robinson, very famous. Uh, Author of the book The Element. Perhaps you know the book The Element. Sifra uh, Robinson is an expert in creativity. And, and he says that nowadays in, in the school, in the education system, we have a, a vertical structure. Why vertical? We have a pyramid upside down. The subjects of maths, you know, maths and language are on the top. In the middle are science and humanities, but on the on the bottom, music, physical education, arts, you know. So all of you know this. Imagine in a school how many hours students uh, how many hours do they or do the students spend Studying maths, too many. Too many, yeah. For example, five five hours a, five hours a week. Not really, no. Language five hours a week. Yeah. What about music? One hour. One hour. Sometimes one hour a week. Sometimes. Yes. Or sometimes. Be careful, we have a mathematics teacher here. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes one hour a week. Sometimes one hour each two weeks. Yeah. Arts. No. Arts and crafts, one hour each, two weeks, physical education, one hour and a half, two hours a week, 
So compare it to maths and language. This is not fair. We are we are, we are more than the maths and language, isn't it? So I didn't win. So <laughs> we should change our our system, not vertical, but or horizontal. Or we could do like a pizza, see it, with eight subjects or eight kind of intelligences that we can mix. Okay. So, <coughs> any problem? A space. What's this? The space no, no, space. No, 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 more people over here. You know this man, this guy, this teacher in his class. Yeah, it's a different class, isn't it? It's not the class that, uh, in my in, in my case, it was not uh, in this way, isn't it? In teams and okay, this is Cesar Bona. Cesar Bona has been named one of the best teachers in the world. Okay. And Cesar Bona says, and I quote, I quote, Cesar Bona says, <laughs> and I quote, I want to say it correctly, teachers with the help of, of the parents should find the talent that each student has. So, that is the idea. But there are, there are more, more people that, that say this. For example, this man, Richard Gerber, an expert in education. Or this man, ah, yeah. mm -hmm. Subhata Mitra. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All of them have common ideas in this. They said that nowadays, in the, in the era of internet, where we have the information in, on the internet, teacher shouldn't be the old-fashioned person who transmits information, you know, in the in the classroom, in this kind of class, you know, all the students sitting in a row, in silence, you know, and writing notes. Yeah. Of, of course, not. we have to change this. This. Uh, I, will, I will start. Doing this because it's, it's good. Yeah. So, for example, why why don't we we see these kind of classes? The students are in teams. Okay. They can talk each other. They can help each other. Okay. And teacher, and that is what Subhata Mitra. And Cesar Bona and Richard Gerber say, uh, say teachers, teachers should be a facilitator, a person who helps, a person who guides, yeah? a person who engages, a person who encourages all the students okay, in, their process, in, their, in, in their process of exploration, of learning. Okay? So the teacher should be a person that is in the class and that moves, who moves from one team to the other, that asks questions, helps, uh, gives some hints, okay, in order to help to all the students that are talking to each other, of course, why not? Uh, that are with ta tablets, that are with, uh, with a computer, why not? Okay? So, Facilitator is another idea, facilitator of the teacher. Okay, what else? The last one. There is another another girl that uh, these, are more, more, these are more uh, options for the uh, you know for, for new school, isn't it? There is a, a 
a girl, uh, she's Catherine Lecouillet. Catherine Lecouillet. She's a very famous writer. She writes about uh, education. Uh, has, he, she has got uh, two books very, very interesting. Educar en el asombro and Educar en la realidad. So, I, I recommend you this, these books. She talks about uh, she talks about a very very important idea. Uh, she says that uh, all the people uh, have got interest, their own interest, since we were born. Yeah. So knowledge and interest come from from inside, from our inside. Okay. And teachers should help us to develop, to work on these own interests. So we are not, this is the fourth idea, we are not empty, an empty box. Yeah? We are not an empty box that have to, to fill with contents, with subjects. Okay? No, of course not. Uh, of course, there is an input from the outside, of course. But we have to take into account that we are like this, isn't it? We, 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 since we were born, we have our own style, our own interests, our own abilities over here, yeah? Of course. For example, I know that my son, that is two years old, has got uh, his own interests, of course, of, of course. and, and I, I can uh, and link to the core awareness intelligence, I know that she, he is very intelligent, all the is he is very intelligent in maths, yeah? but he is not so intelligent in the linguistic area, I know that, you know, and if you, if you are father or mother, you, I, think, I, I assume that you know that. So. These are the main ideas, the four main ideas, and I will I will finish with with this uh, phrase because I don't think it's too long, isn't it? No, no, no. Okay, I will. Okay, I will. I will say something that occurs to me before. You know, I told said before, uh, collective infection, is it? That when you run, you start running and you see other people running, uh, there is an infection, like collective infection. I think in, in our school, Dori, uh, you know that in our school, in the, in the school where I am working, the school where I was a student, and now I am work and I am a teacher, and my son is in my school too. I know that are some steps to start a, uh, how do you say, it? collective infection <laughs> among the teachers. There are some steps to, to make a revolution. How do you consider yourself intelligent or how, how intelligent are you? No is how are you intelligent, in which way are you intelligent, okay? What are your talents? That's the question that I want to ask the students and I want them to find their talents, okay? And uh, I think uh, that it's perhaps it's very simple, it's a very simple idea but I think uh, uh, it would have a lot of uh, positive uh, goals, you know, the, f the first one, in my opinion, self-confidence, self-confidence, students will gain self-confidence, they will say, okay, I am very intelligent in these areas, I am not very good in maths and in, and in language that my, perhaps, I don't know, my parents say, no, you have to study maths, no, you have to study language, your, your, your marks have to be better in, in maths and in language. Oh no, physical education or this is, you know, this is uh, 
this, this, this doesn't matter, it's a physical education arts. I don't know how you say in English, but we in Spanish we say uh, subject Maria, you know? <laughs> subject Maria, physical education, arts, these kind of things, you know? Music, the good ones are maths and language, so we have to change that. We have to give confidence, self-confidence to those students that are not good in maths and language, of course. And I, I want, I would like to change the, the, the paradigms of the, of the education, not only in the students, but in parents too, you know? And what was the third one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, in my case, when I was a teenager and I was 15 or 16 years old and I wanted to do, and I have to decide what will be my, my future job or my university, you know, I have no idea. I haven't the slightest idea. And I think it's the same in all of the cases or in most of the cases. So this, if we do this since the, the, the children are 7, 8, 9 or 4 children, I think that would, would help a lot to those teenagers to know themselves, to know their abilities, to know their, their intelligences, in order to decide where to go, what to, what, what to study, you know? Okay, so help for future jobs. And the last one, the main important, and I refer to, again to Sir, Sir Ken Robinson. For me, Sir Ken Robinson is, a, is an example to you, you can you can read. I invite you to read uh, the element, the book, the element. If you are not very good in linguistic area and you prefer visual, you can you can watch uh, him in tech talk in a TED talk uh, during 15 minutes or 20 minutes in a, le in a lecture. So the last one. Could you could you? Help me to say the last one. What is the main important thing if we if, if we did this? I think we we could uh, gain be happy. Okay, people, the student uh, would be happy. Would find uh, their element. Yeah, and that's the most important thing. Be happy in this life because you are doing you are doing what you want, what you like because you find yourself and you are not doing another thing, you know? So, I will ask you the same question again. <laughs> Do you consider yourself intelligent? Yes or no? In which way? I hope you all, you find your answer now while we are having some, some <laughs>